Hello, welcome back to another great episode yes. of Real Estate Investing. And today's topic is to, is to just look at the situation, what's going on. It's time to pull the trigger. So welcome back, everyone. I'm Si Wing Ying and my co-host once again is Julie. How are Good you? morning. Fine, Si Wing. How are you this morning? Yep. Fine. Thank you so much. Thank you for co-hosting again. Thank and you. You always provide a lot of great perspective. So without further ado, let's go over this particular uh, module. And once again, my title would be Hold the Trigger. So why? Because... Oh. What's happening, as you can see, so we are, if you're waiting for the alleged interest rate to decrease before jumping into the market, you're not thinking like a savvy investor because mm. you see what happened last week, the last week, yeah. the mortgage rate has decreased to around 1.15%. Now, this trending metrics is really going to potentially, it's going to be a very interesting. So more importantly, when it does, the market will flood with buyers to the tune of another four to five million potential buyers going to get off the sideline with a, with a drip. Just 1% reduction of the mortgage rate will create four to five million additional prospective buyers. And you know what's going to happen? In fact, it's already started. The blood gate already started. It's a lag time. It's a, it'll take a few months for the nationwide housing data to catch up. The, right. okay, the blood gate is already open. So for those investors who are not savvy, here's the, here's the thing. Most prospective investors, especially newbies, they are reactive. They're not proactive. They, Correct. they do not take the initiative. They, mm -hmm. they are followers, followers. They are not leaders. Right. right. They, mm -hmm. are, they, they follow the herd instead of going mm -hmm. opposite direction from, from the mass herd. They right. The herd. They, they just... They just follow other people from to a doom gloom situation. So, you want to be an inv investor? You know, people need to listen to this podcast <laughs> because Julie, that means that means when the mortgage rate continue to gradually decrease, we've already one rate cut happened last week with a fifty basis point lower. Although it did not decrease the mortgage rate, we'll talk about that in some other module, some other videos. But across next year, 2025, when the Federal Reserve may have another three or four rate decreases again, if that's not a trending data, I don't know right. what is. Right. That means, yeah, that means if you don't pull the trigger now to find a great deal, that means it'll, especially at the, at the spring or next year, at the spring of every season, due to seasonality, that's just the spring of every season, every mm -hmm. year, you people, there's a lot of real estate activities, right? That's history. So that means for those that continue to wait, it will be increasing competition and potentially higher prices across the board. This conclusive data is, is just is so factual. Anyway, so if you're waiting for the perfect time to buy, you might just find yourself on the sidelines mm -hmm. watching others steal the best deal that's going on right now. Right. So, Julie, don't wait for the market to shift in your favor. Be proactive, like mentioned. Look at product regularly, especially our investors within yes. our work, and pull the trigger when you find a good deal. And we have tons of great deals because, Julie, because if, if you continue to wait on the sidelines to wait for the perfect time, it ain't going to happen. Right. Like I said, and our prices will go up and all the great seller concessions and buyer incentives, which is, mm -hmm. which, which we have right now, especially in Florida, our building concession will go away very soon. So today's advantage, we'll take advantage of today's great benefit and before the market take off, takes off again. And mm -hmm. again, decreasing mortgage rate will create upsurge in demand. What I mean by that, look at this, this data will blow your mind because we already have a very mm -hmm. low supplier inventory, a historical low in the past few years. I could, I can't see how the supplier inventory can, can come to, to match the demand. You and I, Julie, have talked about it last few years, especially recently. We have a lock-in effect. 80% mm -hmm. 80 of our current uh, homeowners, they have a mortgage rate of less than 5%. Very difficult to entice those investors sitting at a historical low rate to uh, sell their home, to buy another home. 
in a mortgage rate is 7%, 8%, like we have seen in the past couple of years. As you can see, this data will make it mind boggle you. Right now, there are 700,000 transactions year to date across the United States. There was still around one point at the pre pandemic level, there were 1.2 transactions. So we are, even though the inventory has increased year over year from last year to this year to increase the inventory, we're still having low supply of inventory to match the surging demands. That in mind, at 7%, at 6.5%, which happened a few months ago, it will unleash 0.8 million buyers into the market because the affordability is right there. As you can see, the, the mortgage mm -hmm. okay, payment, a lot of people can afford it because of lower interest rate. 2.8 mm -hmm. million already happened then the past few months. And right now, we are reaching the mortgage rate for good qualified buyers. We're talking primary home buyers. The investment mm -hmm. a little bit higher. I'm talking about high level, countrywide primary home buyers. Sure, yeah. sure. Kind of data, but investors rate is a little bit higher. But we all know that when the mortgage rate reach at six percent, could be at the end of this year, could be mm -hmm. next year, at six percent, that will unleash another couple of million buyers to the tune of five point four million more buyers going to get off the sidelines. Now, again, nobody have a crystal ball, right? It's just mm -hmm. predicting mortgage rate is very difficult, but mm -hmm. some housing experts and some websites, some data uh, companies, they could predict by sometime next year, 2025, late next year or the beginning of 2026, the mortgage rate might come all the way down to the high fives. The low fives, I'm not sure. That's, that is too optimistic. Let's say high five, 5.8, 5 5.9. 5 right. That will unleash a total of 7.7 7 more buyers into the market. And we're not going to have 2021 all over again because it's a historical time. We will never mm. again in our lifetime. But unleashing 7.7 7 more million buyers in the world of low inventory, that, mm -hmm. is, that is mind boggling. So your thoughts. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of information. But I think it's so interesting. If you're an investor, I think what I'm hearing you say, if you're an investor and you're waiting for the interest rate to come down, you think it's working in your favor because you're not going to get a lower interest rate, but it's really working against you because it's going to allow so many more people to buy, not just investors, but homeowners, that actually people, renters maybe that want to own a home. And so then as a result of all the flooding of the people into the market. Now the prices are going to go up. So it's almost like you're in the same place, but you got to compete against so many more people now. <laughs> it really doesn't pay for you to wait for an uh, interest rate to come down 50 basis points, 100 basis points, whatever. It doesn't do you any good. It's like apples to apples. It's like you might get a lower interest rate, but now you get a higher price point on the housing. So yeah, you're not really benefiting yeah. uh, in the long run. That's right. You're not getting ahead by, by waiting. Yeah, you may get a low, uh, lower mortgage rate uh, in the next uh, six to a, a months to a year, but the prices has correspondingly has gone up. Due to exactly. Competition is supply and demand, right? You did more demand right. than supply. Exactly. Well, well, will go up. People try to time the market. You, you, you mm -hmm. could never succeed timing the market. It's I'm in the market. In the market, correct. I'm in the market. Furthermore, Julie, you and I hammered down so often on our past videos. As a real estate investor, you're not buying based on mortgage rates, right? Right. A homeowner, yeah, the mortgage rate is important because you have to qualify based on your mm -hmm. income. You're living right. in the house for owner occupied. But investor, there are deals everywhere, even with the elevated mortgage rate. The, the, the pro forma, the market mm -hmm. that you're talking about, you can still cash flow even at 7.5% interest rate. But furthermore, we have buyers, sellers rate buy down to a 4%, 5%. Right. We rate buy down for our, our bar in Florida. You can cash flow even more based on this. So investors, risk investors, if you are savvy, you don't buy based on the difference between 7% or 6.5% or 6%. Mm -hmm. Because when you buy 200000 investment property, or when you buy a $100,000 investment property, mm -hmm. 9% down payment, the difference between 8% mortgage rate on an investment loan versus 6% mm -hmm. is only like $50 a month. Wow. Yeah. Sure. That's the difference. Could it change your wealth building? 
<laughs> not at all. Not at all. Yeah. It, it, right. Yeah. So the difference between savvy real estate investors and newbie real estate investors, newbie investors, they think fear based. They want to yes. find the market because all oh, everybody else is waiting on the sideline. Primary right. owner is waiting on the sideline. You're not a freaking primary homeowner. You are in That's right. If you're That's right. Place, you invest based on <clears throat> all the based on rental value ratio, based on right. rate, based on cash return, based on positive cash flow. Right. You know, and twenty to twenty five percent down payment. You're not in investing based on oh, I need the mortgage as an investor, I need the mortgage rate to come down to three percent before I you're not investing the cash flow is just one minor aspect that they exactly. think, like I said. The difference between 8% mortgage rate on an investment loan on a cash flow property versus 6% is only minute, $50 to $100 right. per month. That's not going to, that's not going to make you a millionaire right off the bat. Anyway, that's. I think it's interesting. I think if people really did the homework on that, like you said, if it's a matter of $50 a month, that is not life changing money. Right. So why not just make the move now and then take advantage of all the other benefits like we've talked about in our previous videos. Just besides the cash flow, there's so many more benefits to owning real estate as an investor. Yeah. So I think it's important that people adopt that contrarian mindset. Like you said, when nobody's buying, that's what we should be out there buying. Even though the interest rate might be a little higher, who cares? In the long run, 10, 15 years, who cares? Right. Because you're going to take advantage of so many other benefits of owning the property. That's right. That's right. Increasing cash flow appreciation potential long-term three to five percent on annual basis appreciation then the the loan amortization buy down by the tenant the tenant gonna pay that pay down your mortgage for you over time so you have a increased equity then amazing tax benefit that you and i talked about mm -hmm. in our pre previous videos and, right. and power of leverage you only put up 25 cents to a dollar you right. put in partial money to buy an asset we well, are that's right yeah, the power of leverage and the OPM, other people's money, the lender yeah. going to finance the other 75% for you and, right. and let your tenant pay down not only your mortgage on a monthly basis, but taxes, your insurance, your property management fee, your vacancy, your maintenance. Absolutely. The rent you could collect if you buy in a good market like yeah. like. Like, like we do, the rent and the renter are going to make you rich long term. Absolutely. Yeah, long term. That's the key. Long term. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. I think that's why this is uh, just, again, as we're talking about this, or we're moving to the fourth quarter of 2024. Just don't, investors out there, just focus on your personal economy. Don't, mm -hmm. don't worry about the elections. <laughs> don't worry about the uh, inflation. Don't worry about right. recession. All this, all these doom and gloom headlines out there. Focus your personal economy. We find a good deal, which have, we have a lot of good deals mm -hmm. and network. Just if you're financially ready, hold the trigger now so you can now. price, lock in the mortgage rate. You can always refinance down the road. Right. Uh, sit back and relax and collect the rent checks mm -hmm. uh, and everything else will, will fall into place. That's a very good point. Yeah. yeah. Like, like you always say, marry the property. Date what you say, date the rate and marry the property. Yeah. yeah, because even if it drops down, say, three points, which we know that's probably not going to happen. After the election or whatever everybody's waiting for, you can always refinance it and take advantage of the lower rate. Mm -hmm. but, but you at least got the property at a current market value instead of waiting for the interest rates to drop whatever mysterious number is in your head that yeah. you think it's going to drop. And then that floods the market and then the prices go up and now you're in the same place that you were before the interest rates were lower. So <laughs> that's a really good point. That's a very yeah. good point. Absolutely. That said, that pretty much concludes this short video. And you guys out there, if you see any value whatsoever from this podcast, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you have not already done so, put your email down below on my website at the newsletter. And so you can become a free member of our real estate investing organization. By being a free member, every single morning, you will receive a free uh, email into your email inbox to learn more about real estate investment opportunities to increase your financial future. Anyway, thank you. Absolutely. You thank you. This has been great. Good information. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.